Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography. In this video, I wanted to give you another look at one specific feature of Luminar 2018, and that is the LUT mapping utility. Now, one of the things that um, people have been asking me is uh, with regard to Fuji files and Luminar 2018, and that is the lack of color profiles. Now, I mentioned in my review of the new version of Luminar that you can possibly use the new LUT mapping utility to get around this problem. And uh, having done a quick search online, I actually managed to find some Fujifilm simulation LUTs and I've been trying them out. And bear in mind now, these have been created without the intention of using them for this purpose. And I just found them online. Um, and But they seem to work reasonably well. And if you were to make LUTs properly specifically for this, uh, it would probably work even better. But uh, the ones I've found up uh, at the moment um, seem to work reasonably well. So let me just give you a demonstration. So I've just loaded up an image here. Um, it's just kind of a any image I just picked from uh, my camera roll. So I'm going to switch back to Lightroom for a second. So at the moment I have this set to Provia. Okay. And over here in Luminar, I have a Provia LUT applied to this. So if I turn this off, this is kind of the defaults. And when I bring it on, that is the result. So if I switch back to Lightroom, as you can see, that's more or less in the same ballpark. So if I switch here now to say Classic Chrome, Okay, and then I switch back to Luminar, and then I can select the uh, classic chrome lot. Okay, so you can see the colors change slightly. It's actually not bad. If I switch back and forward here, uh, you can see the colors are more or less the same. So I'm just going to hide the presets here, just so this, um, the views match a bit better. So again, I'm going to switch back and back. So as you can see, the colors are fairly similar. So let me try one more. And let me just try Velvia. Okay, so there's a Velvia LUT. And if I switch back to Lightroom, and I select Velvia. Okay, and again, if I switch between the two. It's possibly not exact, but I think the differences are more in terms of contrasts and so on. So, but in terms of the colors, it's more or less bang on. So that's pretty much it. You can, of course, combine these with uh, lots of other filters, such as grain and so on, and create like a very filmic effect. Um, but yeah, so that's how LUTs work inside Luminar 2018. And uh, I think it will actually solve the problem for a lot of people with regard to Fuji color profiles. Uh, I'm kind of excited as to how well this actually works. I was expecting it to be more difficult, but it seems to work fine. Um, so. I, as I said, I expect lots of people will come out with uh, third-party LUTs for film simulation profiles. Um, there's plenty out there already. Uh, you do a Google search, you'll find them. When Luminar gets closer to release, uh, I will try and find see if I can find any more, and I'll create a blog post with lots of different links to different uh, LUTs that you can download. But you know, for now, that's it. Um, if you have any questions about Luminar 2018, please uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer in another video in a little while. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.